You know when many of us we hear about these stories about the Sahaba and the heroes of Islam, what do we think? We get a five minute buzz and then it's all over. We are not motivated, we are not inspired. The reason that we have these stories and that Allah recalled them in the Quran and the Hadith and the Athar is that they are a source of inspiration. They motivate us. Because many of us live on the glory of our past. Somehow, you know, somebody else is going to come and rectify the situation. Somehow Umar ibn Khattab is going to come and rectify the situation. Somehow Khadija radiallahu anha is going to come and support the, 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 the Ummah with her wealth. Somehow Abu Dhar is going to come and he's going to spend on the Ummah. Somehow Khalidul Walid is going to come and he's going to assist the oppressed. And this is what many of us believe. But the reality is that when we listen about, listen about the heroes of Islam, they should be a source of inspiration for me and you. Me and you, they would motivate us. Because we are living in times of fitna. And in times of fitna, you need people of motivation. When Ali radiallahu anhu gave his first khutbah, what did he say? And this was an amazing time. Because this was a time of great fitna and difficulty. After the demise of the Prophet sallallahu no other difficulty was greater than the assassination of Uthman radiallahu anhu. And Ali radiallahu anhu was appointed as the Khalif. And what did he do? He, what did he say? This first khutbah, this is all he said. He ascended the pulpit. And he said, O oh believers, you are in need of a rajul fa'ala qawwal. You are in need of a man of actions and not of a person who just talks. Because if revolutions and change came through talking, me and you would have a revolution every hour. Because me and you are very good at talking. But the help of Allah does not come through talking. It comes through the actions of individuals. If you want the mercy of Allah to descend, if you want the help of Allah to descend, then you have to do actions. You have to perform actions. Because this is when the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends. And Ali radiallahu anhu said, Oh people, you are in need of a rajulun fa'al, an action man. Not of people who just talk. Not the people who just talk. If we want the mercy of Allah to descend, if we want the help of Allah to descend, we have to translate our talking into actions. You know, how often do you hear Muslims complaining, oh, why isn't the help of Allah descending? How often do you have to hear them whinging? But how many actions do we do? Has this ummah paid its zakah and then Allah withheld its help? Has this ummah prayed salah like it should have prayed and then Allah withheld his help? Has this ummah made the Prophet sallallahu their role model then Allah withheld his help? Has this ummah made people like Abu Bakr and Umar and Khadija and Fatima their role models and then Allah withheld his help? Has this ummah had the concern of the Prophet sallallahu Has it a concern for the rest of humanity and then Allah withheld his help? Or do we have this warped perception? That somehow Allah is obliged to help us. Somehow, na'udhu billah, as though we are Allah and Allah is our slave. Understand, you are the slaves. Allah is samad, Allah is dependent. You have to fulfill the conditions and then the help of Allah descends. That's when the help of Allah descends. Not that you do nothing and you go on lackadaisically in your lives. Dunya is your maqsid. You don't learn anything about your deen. And somehow Allah is obliged to help you. Allah is the Lord. Allah is Khalik. Allah is Malik. Allah does not require to help anybody. And your numbers don't make, make any difference. You can be 1.6 million, 1.2 billion. They don't make any difference. Your power, your wealth doesn't make any difference. What counts in the eyes of Allah is your quality, not your quantity, your substance. And this is why Allah says, How often do you see that a small group of people, a small regiment defeats a large, a large regiment? Why? With the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.